हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द स्टिचिंग फॉर विच इन द पार्ट वन वी आई हैव ऑलरेडी शोड यू द ड्राफ्टिंग एंड द कटिंग पार्ट ओके सो वी विल स्टार्ट अ लिटिल बिट विद अ क्विक रीकैप ऑफ द कटिंग एंड देन आई विल शो यू द स्टिचिंग पार्ट वेयर यू विल सी द फिनिशिंग दैट इज एक्चुअली डन द फिनिशिंग द वे इट इज डन इन ब्रांडेड क्लोथ दैट इज वॉट यू विल बी सींग बिकॉज दैट इज वॉट वी डू इन बुटीक्स एज वेल ओके सो लेट्स क्विकली गो अहेड एंड वॉच द this video So this is where we had stopped the last time in the previous part if you have not seen that go and watch it so this is where we'll quickly see the cutting of the fabric So I have showed how to cut the front part of the um, uh, dress that is of the bodice right uh and uh, you need to go and check that because uh, since this is a special pattern there are some things that you need to keep in mind so please go and watch part 1 i have also showed how to cut the back part of the dress that is uh, of the yoke specially okay so again some details are there which you don't uh, need to miss which you can't miss so please go and watch the uh, first part and i have showed the um uh, after cutting how the sleeve is looking the sleeve formatting uh, format for the sleeve cut has not been uh, added in this video or even in part 1 because it has already been added in or shown in one of the previous videos that was on western top i will add the link of that video in the description box below also the measurements of the cuff are in part 1 as well so this is the format of the front okay so we will start this the stitching so let us see the finishing first it's very important that we are aware of the finishing i haven't transferred these darts on the fabric that i will be doing uh, later but first thing see there are two uh, layers of lining so one i am keeping aside the other one what i am going to do is i am going to take this this is the velvet fabric right it the black always catches dust so these will be brushed off later on so what i am going to do is this is the um front part right the yoke and this is the lining so first thing first what i am going to do is i am going to only stitch it here right side in okay once i have stitched it then i will reverse it so this will seal this okay it will look very nice and clean and then i will reverse it and then i will uh, transfer the darts on this both the uh, fabrics will be together when i stitch the darts both the fabrics will be together if i do the darts separately then it will add to the bulk now um, once that is done then i will show you the next process of adding the uh net on top so this net will be added on top so that we will see once this is uh, done right so uh, let me quickly do this and then uh, show it to you so as you can see this is how i have stitched this is the lining and uh, this is the velvet part okay the right side is inside so now i have put a small notch here like a cut okay so that it folds properly and now i will just fold it so uh, you know i turn it and push the uh, lining behind see so the now the finishing here is proper okay now uh, we will do the next step i will iron it properly so that the shape is nicely uh, retained okay so that is what i am going to do once i have done that then what i am going to do i am going to transfer the dart so there is french dart and there is a uh, waist dart so i'm going to transfer both the darts on this i'm going to stitch the darts okay and uh, um, uh, i'll stitch both the uh, fabrics together i'll show you how to do and then the next step is to add this okay so we want a very clean finish on the other side also so to get the clean finish we will be using this other lining the second lining that i had cut we will use this second lining on the inside so it becomes very clean on the uh, wrong side also okay so uh, let me just iron this nicely transfer the darts and then i'll show you how i am stitching the darts okay so this is the net that will be attached okay i don't want any stitch on top so what i have already done is see i have pinned it with the this is the lining this is the uh, stitch right so i have pinned it and i am going to put a stitch here 
okay so if you pin it properly it will always be uh, nice and proper so i am going to put a, a stitch here because i don't want any uh, stitch to show on top i want it absolutely clean on top okay so that is what i am going to do and then i am going to iron it and show it to you as you can see here since i did not want any stitch on top of the velvet fabric what i have done i have spread out the lining outside as you can see and i am stitching that net with that lining okay i have already pinned it as i showed it to you right i have pinned it properly so that nothing moves now i'm stitching this net with the lining not with the main fabric okay so it will stay in place now while stitching you have to be very uh, you know you have to be very particular that the stitch is not on the net because the net will be on the skin so you know it's not very far from the uh, uh, place where it is uh, um, uh, uh, attached to the uh, velvet right so it has to be right at the edge so the stitch should not be visible on the velvet it should not be visible on the net either it has to be right at the edge so this is what i am doing now once i have done this you will be able to see the clean finish so see this has been uh, stitched now there is no stitch on top if you see here there is no uh, stitch on top okay and uh, it has been stitched properly right so next what i am going to do is uh, i am going to fix this other uh, lining in a way that this gets covered this raw uh, fabric it gets covered but before that i am going to transfer the darts here the darts need to be transferred the french dart and the waist dart they need to be transferred so i am going to trace out the darts on this from my pattern okay once i have done that i will um, make the darts uh, stitch the darts on this as well as on this i uh, once i have done the darts on both of them then i will attach this uh, lining here so uh, you will see the entire process okay so now as you can see i have marked the darts it is probably visible i have marked the darts right now first thing see this is the main fabric and the lining both of them are together right so what i am going to do is first in darts we do the center stitch the center uh, dart uh, line that is what we will be stitching so that is what i will be stitching so the center dart uh, uh, is what i will be stitching and then Uh, the fabric will be totally secured both the fabrics will be totally secured as you can see this is i have secured it with pins also so that it doesn't move and then i am going to fold it and i am going to stitch the dart legs and that will complete my dart okay exactly same way i will do with this one also although this is a single fabric yeah but in this also i will do the center leg and then i will do the dart legs then it is always easier okay it is always more uniform so that is what i am going to do and then i'll show it to you so if you can see here you can see that i have put the center line okay i have stitched the center line which has secured my lining with the <coughs> main fabric okay now next thing that i'll do i'll fold it becomes very easy so for this i leave some fab, uh, some thread like this because after i have stitched the uh, dart i will remove this uh, thread i'll pull this off okay i'll just hold it and now it's so easy i'll just have to pinch it like this and i have to stitch the dart okay so that is what i'm to going to do in the sewing machine i'm just going to hold it and put a stitch here and my dart will be done exactly same way i have already done the other one here see this is already done so this is the wrong side and this is the right side so see because of the dart the space for the bust has been created right so this is how we create the space for the bust to fit in the bust so now that my uh, dart is done on the main fabric that is with the velvet and uh, lining now uh, you still see this is the raw edge of the net okay so we are going to 
cover that so this is also called covering in local language by tailors so uh, this other uh, lining that i have prepared i am going to use that now see remember so the stitch side is going inside this stitch side so it becomes absolutely clean on the inside of the dress also okay and then i get space to insert the pads i will be inserting the pads uh, from the sides but before that i am going to stitch it here and uh, you know it is uh, going to be uh, like this this is how i am going to put the stitch i am going to pin it up first and then i am going to stitch it and uh, then it will get finished nicely okay so that is what i am going to do and uh, while pinning it will be a little bit complicated because see the this is like this and this is absolutely opposite so it's not the same thing right so it has to be done slowly and carefully so i have to pin it like this then i have to you know go like this and pin it nicely all around okay and then i will put a stitch and then i will turn it okay so i have stitched it like this so this is how i had pinned let us remove this these pins and see <clears throat> so still there is no stitch here on top of the velvet and i am going to now iron it nicely and so this part is done right so see this is the inside part it is absolutely clean nicely finished all the stitches are inside nothing is visible on top okay next what i am going to do i am going to iron this nicely and uh, i am do exactly the same way i am going to do the back side back side it is easier it is not like this it is just a v but exactly same thing i am going to do on the back side the difference is on the back side there is only one lining so i'll just make the dart on the velvet fabric attach the net and then i'll put a dart on the uh, line uh, uh, in a that is uh, lining and then i am going to cover the net on the back side also so exactly same thing i am going to do now i am going to iron this finish the back side and then we will move on to the sleeves so this is the back side exactly the same way i have finished the back side this is the lining part the dart is not uh, uh, you know it's inside as you can see there is no stitch visible okay everything is covered the net the raw edge of the net is inside yeah this is the raw edge everything is getting uh, covered okay so this is the inside part of the dress and this is the right part of the dress the velvet part of the dress the dart is done absolutely clean no stitches here okay so this is the kind of finish that uh, my students uh, uh, get to learn in the course and uh, you know perfectly uh, finish uh, is what is very important for branded clothes and that is what you are seeing in this video as well next uh, we'll do the uh, sleeves okay so this is the sleeve it is a little bit uh, flared a uh, little bit of uh, balloon kind of a look would be there in this and i have cut the uh, cuff also for the cuff fabric velvet fabric only now um, uh, if you see you know if you want you can fold it also but instead i have cut two pieces the reason i have cut two pieces is when uh, there is a stitch here when it is uh, stitched together and then added then the finish is always much better if you fold it and uh, do the uh, you know uh, make the cuff the stitching finishing is not that great so this way the finishing is much better her um, the sleeve round this much is 7 inch for her so with an ease of around 1 inch it comes to around 8 inches and a seam allowance so i have taken around 8.75 only seam allowance is required margin is not required in the cuff as it becomes very bulky so uh, i'm just going to finish it Uh, so this kind of sleeve i have showed earlier also in a western top i am going to make uh, gathers here so that you know it gives this kind of a uh, uh, balloon look and then i am going to um, stitch the cuff to size here like this okay and this part will be done once this is done i will attach this with the main body yeah when we stitch like this and we want to iron it right we want to fold it at iron and so this is so rounded right it becomes so difficult to fold and iron it so in that case what we need to do is you know you keep it nice and straight this is the stitch you this is the stitch if you can see okay and then you 
fold it in one side okay you push it in one direction either this direction or this direction whichever direction here i am pushing it in this direction and then you do the stitch same applies for uh, you know uh, even uh, pant stitches and all those uh, side seam sometimes okay so yeah so this is the cuff that i am doing you stitch it uh, you uh, iron the uh, stitch out first and once you have done that then you see it's so easy now see it is not rounded and it is much easily it can be done so here now it is nicely ironed okay so that is another tip so this is how the yoke is looking right now okay i have attached the shoulder a normal stitch so for net you don't have to do a lot of finishing for the shoulder uh, it's best that it is kept just like that firstly because it doesn't come off because it is net it doesn't come off firstly and uh, <clears throat> secondly it is kind of you know um, it just a uh, blends in complete so it's 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 not that much visible i have also attached the sleeves i have made the cuff and uh, i have attached the sleeve since uh, her neck is short uh, this particular girl's neck is a little bit short so i didn't want to add any volume here because then the upper part would become bulky so this is normal um, that i have done and uh, balloon part little bit of puff i have added here you know uh you have uh, already uh, seen how this sleeve is cut it is there in uh, the other video i have already linked the video in the description below and uh, uh, if you want you can add much more uh, volume or flare i didn't want to add a lot of volume so this is the amount of volume i have added both the sleeves okay attached both the sleeves and um, here this is how it's looking i have not finished the neck yet i will do that not yet i haven't uh, done it yet and uh, now what i am going to do is i am going to attach the flare the flare is umbrella flare and uh, for that um, remember that we are not stitching the side first and then putting the flare we are adding the flare first and then we will stitch the side before i stitch the side i will also insert the pads here okay but what i want you to uh, remember is while stitching when you stitch the flare to the waist put a center notch which would be the exact center of the waist in the uh, yoke and in the flare also so this is the flare i have put a notch on the waist of the flare also as you can see so then it becomes easy i will just match this notch with the notch in the uh, yoke okay i will just match these two notches and then i will simply uh, stitch it okay and once the flare is stitched the front and the back i will stitch both the flares and then i will finish the neck i should have done the neck first but uh, i don't know i'm feeling <laughs> i'm too excited to do the flare first and uh, then i will do the neck yeah so let's see this so the one of the flares i fell a little bit short fell short of the fabric so i put a stitch here in the center on camera probably it's not visible the reason being after putting the stitch what i have done it i have spread it out like this and i have ironed it on the seam i have spread it out like this and i have ironed it on the seam so when you do this the stitch almost literally disappears so here on the right side you can't make out the stitch at all that is how you uh, that is one of the tips or that is what you do to make the uh, stitch literally you know invisible so um, i have attached the flare so this is the uh, flare with the yoke okay finishing of the neck is still remaining i have to still do it okay so this is the yoke if you can see yoke has been stitched with the flare but i have not put the lining for the flare the lining was uh, put only for the uh, yoke not for the flare right so now i want to put the lining so i have cut uh, uh, the lining for the front and the back part the lining that i have cut is not in a circle i have cut it in a line because uh, that saves a lot of fabric okay but the width size is obviously the same the flare is a little bit less now i have put a notch here right now one thing that everybody does is they stitch it directly so now when they stitch it directly this is uh, raw 
okay it remains uh, raw but what i am going to do is i am going to stitch it here like this so this is the flare i am not stitching it on the flare side i am stitching it on the yoke side of the dress so that once it is stitched once i uh, 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 you know Uh, put it on the flare side so this gets covered it is nice and clean so that is what i am going to do that is how i am going to add the flare for the front and the back remember the side has still not been stitched okay it is still unstitched once the lining of the flare was done i just simply stitched the sides i put a side zip hidden zip on the left hand side i finished the raw edges of the bottom of the flare and it was ready i made my assistant wear it and this is how it finally looked that was all about how this dress was actually made if you liked this video please hit on the like button if you want to learn fashion designing really quickly uh, or if you want to learn how to set up a boutique or how to expand your boutique how the promotions and all are done then do join my 90 minute free webinar the link to which is in the description box below do put in your uh, comments in the comment section about you know what was interesting about the entire finishing or was if it anything was new about it do subscribe to my channel and then i will see you in the next video see you bye bye